Okay, so I know what you're thinking. These videos are for calculus, right? What do we do to talk about order of operations? This is basic stuff. This is, well, maybe not elementary school, maybe middle school. But despite the fact that this is basic material, you're going to be wrestling with derivatives and integrals and, and you know, understanding the meaning of continuity. Um, you still have to do arithmetic. You still have to be able to add up numbers. You still have to be able to solve equations. These things are still going to come up. Order of operations messes people up more often than you'd think, right? So people have their, you know, their various acronyms that they like for, for remembering this. One of them you've probably seen is uh, uh, PED mass or bed mass, depending on whether you call these things brackets or parentheses. We'll call them parentheses. Um, so these rules say that, well, Parentheses come first. Okay, simple enough. Or maybe not so simple because you got to watch out for things like nested parentheses. You might have parentheses within parentheses within parentheses. Um, so, you know, you got to pay some attention there. Okay, the E there is for exponents. All right, you sort of basic principle here is you should start with the most complicated operations and work your way down in the order that you carry them out, right? So exponents are, are more complicated than, say, multiplication or division. So those come next. Okay. And last of all, the A and the S is addition and subtraction. Okay, fair enough. Um, but, but even spelling it out like that, things are not quite as simple as it might seem. Um, let's, let's do a quick example. Let's say I give you something like 2 plus 3 to the 4 times 6 minus 8 divided by... 3 times 5. Um, okay, so there's, there's an expression you can write down. It involves, you know, well, there's no parentheses yet, but it involves all the other arithmetic operations. Um, and so I guess if you were going to carry things out in, in order, then this, this exponent, that should be the thing that you do first. Um, now there's, there's one of the things that trips people up, d then m. Does that mean we should do division before Multiplication, is this second? Well, some people will say, yeah, do division first. Other people will say, you know, division and multiplication, they kind of come as a group, and you should just kind of carry things out, working from left to right in the order that you see them. And there's actually no agreement on that. Some people will say one, some will say the other. Um, you can find calculators that are programmed in one or the other of those two ways. And, and so you really should not write down an expression like this with an ambiguity like this. You know, 8 divided by 3 times 5, which one do you do first? Probably you should put some brackets in here, right? Put some parentheses in, then it's clear. So if I do this, um, let's say like that, now I understand what I'm doing, right? So I should do the 3 to the 4th, what, 81? I should multiply by the 6, right? So I'm going to, in my... Next step, I'm going to have an 81 times 6 there. 2. Uh, here, I'm going to do the 8 divided by 3. Well, I mean, it's not a whole number. I guess we just have 8 thirds, right, times 5. Next, we do those two multiplications. Then we do the addition and the subtraction, and we get our answer, right? I'm not going to actually work out the number. You can uh, do that on your calculator if you want. Um, so you got to be careful with things like that. Um, as much as this seems really basic, there are a few things that tend to trip people up. One of the things that trip people up is negatives. So be careful of negatives. All right. So for example, let's say I'm doing something like 3 minus 2 times 1 minus 4. Okay, a lot of people will 
say, okay, that's equal to 3. And they know, okay, um, I guess if you're doing order of operations, I suppose you should do the 1 minus 4 first, right? So really what we should do is we should say 3 minus um, 2 times minus 3. Then we remember, oh, negative times a negative, that's a positive, right? So 2 times 3, 6. Um, so 3 plus 6, and we get our 9. But more often than not, what people are going to do is they're going to distribute the 2, right? They're going to use the distributive property, and they're going to say, oh, um, minus 2, and then they're going to say minus 8. Okay, so they'll write it like that. But that's not right, is it? No. 3 minus 2 minus 8, that's not going to give me 9, right? And the reason it's wrong is that when you distribute that 2, right, it's minus 2 times 1 and then minus 2 times minus 4. A lot of people forget that there's actually two negatives there, and that should be a positive, right? That's an easy one to forget. Uh, another one that's easy to forget is you have this notion of implied parentheses. Okay, so you might have something like this. 3 minus 2 divided by 5 plus 1, right? So if you're, if you're doing something like that, you've got to remember that, hey, actually, you've got to do the 3 minus 2 first. You've got to do the 5 plus 1 first, right? Really what you have here is, is 1 over, over 6, right? Um, so where, where people tend to mess this up is there's a lot of people, and I think this is kind of a keyboarding thing, right? You get into the habit of writing fractions, and so instead of writing a fraction like this, you write your fraction like that. Yeah, it saves a little space, right? Fits on one line instead of two. Um, but then what happens is you're doing a problem. Maybe you're doing like an online homework problem. You're entering your answer into the computer. You wanted to check. It's telling you you're wrong. And it's telling you you're wrong because you know, you typed in something like this. You typed in 3 minus 2 divide 5 plus 1. That's what you typed into the keyboard. And you assumed that somehow the computer was going to know that it should do this subtraction first, and it should do the addition first, and then it should do the division, right? Computer doesn't know that. Computers are stupid. Computers are going to do exactly what you tell them to do, and they're going to use the order of operations. So you have to explicitly tell the computer by putting in the brackets that it needs to do those operations first, then do the division, or you'll get the wrong answer. You've got to be careful about these things.